And this young man, he's another one who just travels to opportunity. You know, there's nothing wrong with fighting for one promotion. It's great, you know, you get your, your, your kind of comfortability there, but this is a guy who, hey, you know what, you want to give me a title shot, I'm coming. And I'm coming and I'm bringing the heat. So, you know, he fights wherever they're going to give him these opportunities, and he's been able to take advantage of them up until this point. And I said he's the type, this is the, they're fighting for a, uh, a vacated. They're fighting for a vacated, for a vacated welterweight title, title here, correct. but again, he is a title holder gotcha. at another regional promotion out of the New Hampshire main area. Kyle making his way into the cage first. From what I could tell on social, these guys like to have a lot of fun. They're loose, they're confident in their in their athletes, and uh, you know they're expecting to put on a show here tonight. Come away with the W. He is the number three ranked uh, welterweight in New England. Our guess is he would be a, a a moderate favorite coming in tonight, but you just don't know. I mean, these are guys with with a with combined six fights, right? So we haven't seen them in all the situations, and it's a little bit different. Now we're fighting for a, a title, and you don't know what kind of energy a fighter is going to bring to the cage. To me, it's going to be, you know, how far has Luis Melendez's ground game, his takedown defense, and his ground pound, how far has it evolved? And is it going to be enough to negate the onslaught of Kyle Hill? Like I said, if he can keep this standing, <clears throat> he's got the ability to end the fight in highlight real fashion. We look forward to our main event here at Rivers. We appreciate everybody watching at Stimulus.com. Our sold-out crowd has been great energy. Beer to be just a little bit of a let, a little bit of a deflate in the, in the audience after El Shaddai Van Hosen, but that's only natural. I mean, he, Van Hosen brings so much charisma. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit for, for both of these fighters to kind of ramp that energy back up there, but I think we'll get there once everybody's announced. Especially, you know, Luis coming from <clears throat> Team Jucal right here in Schenectady. Yep. He always brings a, a crowd here to support him. He always brings the energy to the cage. And again, a guy who has continually evolved. We're waiting for Luis Melendez to make his way down. Patiently. Patiently waiting. Some of that is on the DJs, though, too, because, you know, the fighters don't really start making their way down until they hear their they music. They have to hear their song. What was yeah. your walkout song? Do you remember what that uh, was? I, I had a couple. Uh, Johnny Cash. Uh, Johnny Cash. And then I did uh, Joel Santana, The Second Coming. Okay. And then a little Eminem for, my, for another fight. Can't go wrong with any of those. No. What Johnny Cash was it? Little uh, Ring of Fire? Yeah, no, it was... Uh, burn, burn, burn? Shit. I'm Boy Named Sue? No, you're such a dick. <laughs> Too much CTE right now. I'm having a little memory loss. I've been punched in the head way too many times. My <laughs> wife says I have frontal lobe damage. I Listen, I don't think so. I've been listening to you talk for the last three and a half hours. You're, you've made a hell of a lot more sense than this than the other schmuck you're sitting with. Yeah, but you know, she said she wants to get me a shirt that says Gray Matter Matters. <laughs> well, here comes Lewis. And you're right. He brought the fans with him here tonight for sure. Oh, absolutely. He, the He's, fans. he is a fan favorite. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you, does this feel like a, like a, uh, a three-round fight I d to I, you? <clears throat> I do. I, yeah. I think this is going to go deep. It could get stopped in the second or third round, but, I, you know, both these guys are very, very skilled, um, you know, and I and I really expect it to, to really evolve as we go. Yes, it was God's going to cut you down by Johnny Cash. God's going to cut you down sooner or later. Going to cut you down. I was uh, a couple months ago, I was at the Johnny Cash Museum. It's fantastic. It's in uh, uh, Las Vegas. Nice. Really, really great. Unbelievable artifacts. I actually saw, believe it or not, a ticket stub from Johnny Cash at the Starlight Music Theater in Latham. It was on display. Wow. Um, I think he was there in 1999 or 2000, and I, I wish I knew that he was there 23 years ago. I would have loved to see him. Yes. Remember the Starlight Music Theater? doesn't exist anymore. I know. Johnny <coughs> Cash. Long time ago. Yep. A legend. All right, here we go. Lewis is making his way into the cage here. Coach Nels Larson greasing him up. You know, and, and really, if uh, you know, really, what does it do to Luis as he just saw his teammate, you know, suffer that tough loss? You know, does that motivate him more? Does that, you know, 
potentially get into his head a little bit more, put more pressure on him to get one back for the team. Everybody reacts differently. So, uh, you know, he looks very calm. You know, you always wonder about that, and I think it definitely affects the fighters differently. You would know this more than I do. I, I think when you're the fighter after, I almost feel like you, you have to kind of only half pay attention to your teammates fight before you so yes. it doesn't affect you one way or another right agreed we're going to bring it up to mike yep. balbo for the official introductions can't wait ladies and gentlemen this is our main event of the evening it is for the vacant cage wars welterweight championship this championship fight brought to you by Cage Wars MMA and Sticker Mule and presented by the Aqua Training Bag. Winners of tonight's fight will go home with their own Aqua Training Bag. Also, you can get 10% off your next purchase by using promo code CAGEWARS10. Cage Wars 55 is also presented by RTX Sports, the official glove supplier of Cage Wars MMA. UA Local Number 7 Plumbers and Steam Fitters, Bricklayers, Local Number 2 Allied Craft Workers, Jules Design Studio, Ryan Clark Realty, and Northeastern Fine Jewelry. Tonight's championship fight and main event are sanctioned by the United States Muay Thai Association. Executive Director Ed Kinner is in attendance. The judges for your main event are Mr. David Bruce, Rob Ed Cisa, and Matt Dohler. The fight doctor at Cape Side for your main event of the evening is Dr. Michael Lanahan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from the event center in Schenectady, New York, let's do this! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 171 pounds even. Representing Nustos Mixed Martial Arts out of Summersworth, New Hampshire, Kyle Hill! And his opponent sending across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 170 pounds even. Representing Team Jukal out of Scotia, New York, Reese Kent the Moomalande! I mean, you can hear the crowd. It is electric here for this main event. You can, but Kyle Hill's looking to play the spoiler. For the vacant welterweight title, Melendez versus Hill. And Big Dan is the third man in the cage, nobody better. Well, it's been a great night here, and I, I, uh, I expect big things. I think this is gonna be a real good one. Here we go to the center of the cage. Oh, see that? Power. <clears throat> Both gentlemen, very, very well rounded. Oh, oh, nice spinning attack. Kyle close enough distance to avoid it. It's a good start by Melendez. It is, and you know, we're seeing him using some heavier hands, which we've not seen before. And he's really coming forward. He's got bad intentions on those punches. Seems like Luis wants to close the distance. Kyle looking to keep it a little bit more mid far range. <laughs> they both threw the same exact kick. Oh, what a nice overhand left. left. Melendez from the uh, southpaw stance. You're seeing the, the redness on Melendez's le front leg already, though. Melendez oh, nice good. takedown. Very nice. Huge early on in this fight. Now, what can he do with it here? You know, Kyle's got that arm trap, closed guard. Kyle opens up that guard, yeah, looking to get to the hip. <clears throat> slowly working his way. Looks Getting like that foot in. Trying to create some separation. Oh, nice job Excellent. by Luis. Great timing. Very good. Looking to grab that leg. Good defense by Hill. Hill staying nice and calm. Some high-level stuff here. Oh, good job by Luis. You know, I talked to some guys who have trained with Luis in this training camp, and they've noted how strong he is grappling and just how strong in general he is on the cage. Nice underhook by Hill, turning Luis against the cage. Now Luis has his own underhook and he's gonna try to do the same thing. 
Nice knee by Hill. Melendez, Melendez returns. Melendez returns. You know, and the key here is that underhook and turn. Mel Hill looking for that neck. Ooh, double unders. Can he take advantage? Melendez doing a good job shucking him off. Good scramble. Wow, this is a great fight. This one minute left in round one, this folks. This is a great fight. Big punches. You know, Luis doing a nice job putting those punches together in this fight. And when he throws them, too, Hill backs up. I mean, Hill backs up. Well, I'm seeing Luis commit to his punches much more than I have in the past. You can see the damage starting to show on Hill's face just a little bit, too. I think you're right. Melendez is a powerful striker. But again, you know, Hill's doing a nice job attacking that lead leg. Luis throwing those punches with bad intentions. Melendez came out here to win a title tonight. He's been the more active fighter. And I, I listen, not taking anything away from Hill, but it's been a very good round for Melendez. I agree. The aggression has been there for Melendez. <clears throat> you know, even if you gave them one-to-one -one in terms of if you gave the technique to Hill and you gave the aggression to Luis, I mean, Luis has been controlling the cage. It's a good round. So, you know, if you're looking at it that way, I mean, it would appear as Luis did enough to potentially score that round. I would think he did. The crowd appreciating that first round. We're looking at Kyle Hill's corner right now. His, his corner's nice and calm. Loving that yellow jumpsuit. Melendez with the feet up technique. It's interesting, You know, right? yeah, some fighters and coaches believe in that, uh, you know, helping circulation return, helping the blood come back. You know, stopping that venous pooling in the, in the limbs and the edema. Um, you know, it depends where you are and where you come from. I wanted to do the broadcast that way, but they didn't have it, they didn't have it set up for me to, to recline. Next time. Feet next up. Time. Yeah, next time. We'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time we need some recliners for Brian Cody. Yeah. And I won't have shoes or socks on either, just like just like him did. So, <laughs> Here we go, Crown Luis already up two. off the stool. It's a good one. You know, we're listening, you know, we've got headphones on, Brock. I didn't realize until I took the headphones off mid-action, it is loud in here tonight. It is. The crowd is into it. Sold out here for Cage Wars 55. We appreciate you guys watching on Stimulus.com. Next time, come. March 17th, we'll be back in here in Schenectady. Luis doing a nice job changing levels, attacking the body. Kyle going back to that lead leg. Kyle does a nice job switching between southpaw uh, south and orthodox. Got right back up. His own force knocked him down. Well, and that's the thing, too. You know, people don't realize that, that mat can be very slippery. You try to throw explosive techniques, it's easy to slip and fall, especially after how many fights have occurred. Kyle doing a good job keeping it just out of range. Good defense to that kick. Oh! Left knock hook! Down. Big knock. Looking down. for that neck! Wow. Can he secure it? Oh, he's on top! What's Melendez going to do? This looks tight, folks! Melendez is in tight. Oh! Is this it? He's going to try to roll. Nice oh, he got by Luis! He get out? He's still got that neck. He's wow. got an arm in. Oh, he's got an arm in. He's trying to finish it on the arm. On no, the he's out! Oh, good job by, by Luis Melendez. And he's on top. And we talked about that. If Luis was in a bad position, is he going to wow. be able to get out? So far, he's proving he can. Look at this. And that's twice now that Hill has gotten up, and he's gotten smashed on upon getting up. Oh, Kyle, nice job looking for that takedown. Into the mount. Yeah, we got a scrap here for the main event tonight, we, Will. We do, but how much did that take out of Luis? That's the question. Luis doing a good job trying to get to his right hip. But again, Hill, as we talked about, he's got a dominant mount. Luis going to try to give up his back. Also, to give it up for Hill and his conditioning because he has, he's gone a different... A, a Luis got, or he's got it on step. Luis's neck. That's this it. might be it. That's it. He's Tap. Back. Rear naked choke. I told you, Kyle Hill's ground and pound, his submission, his... You know, he's just very, very dominant there. And you said it. You said he's got all the different tools. Whatever is needed in the moment. And there is our welterweight champion, Kyle Hill. And he's, he's looking at it. He says, who's next? Wow. And no shame on Melendez. Uh, and, uh, I mean, he fought great. He did amazing. You know, I mean, his skill set has improved. And, you know, he's gotten better at everything, getting out of really bad positions. I mean, everything about his game is elevated, but he just fought somebody tonight who had a better package to put together. Melendez fought a great first round. Here we go. He, this is where Melendez reverses. But now Kyle still got that arm in. He's trying to adjust. He will eventually give it up. Melendez does a good job here. But Kyle looking to open up that guard feet to the hips. We're going to get back up. Boom. 
Kyle's framing, nice knee, looking for the plum, going for that takedown, into mount. And from here, you know, we talked about Kyle's mount and his dominant mount, his ability to ground and pound and look for submissions from that position. Soft he did a really nice job. You know, and Luis was doing the right thing. He was getting to the hip. He was trying to shrimp out. He was trying to buck. He turned over to his belly to try to turtle up to, to get out of that worst position. But Kyle took advantage of it, got that right arm in underneath, flattened him out, and that was it. The, you know, Luis did not even take more than three seconds. It was sunk in. It was over. Great job by Kyle Hill. He faced adversity. He, he did. And, and he probably and lost the first round. I mean, it, we, we might know that from the judges' scorecard, but congrats we're gonna, to our champ. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo for the last official decision. How about a round of applause for one hell of a main event? <laughs> Referee Jane Mergliata told us up to the fight. One minute, 42 seconds into round number two. For your winner by way of rear naked choke and new Cage Wars welterweight champion, Kyle Hill. Oh, and his coach is putting the purple belts around him, it looks like. Is that purple or brown? Oh, it looks like brown. That's a big moment. Uh, you know what? That gentleman earned it. Wow, what a special moment for that coach, for that athlete. I agree. 